Hello everyone and welcome back to Mastering the Art of Livery Painting in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This series was made and produced by Total Aviation. In this episode, we'll, I'll be showing you how to make a Phoenix A320 livery. So, here we go. So, in the Discord server below, Phoenix A320 blender file that's already and set for you to go. You can also get the template as well. So I'm just going to extract the template I created before and this will have everything we need. So let's get started. As you can see it will load like this and you can do. So the Phoenix is split into three. So you got your first one, your second one and your third one. So if it doesn't load first, go to UV editing, go back and it will work. So get started so episode eight. now I think we're going to be creating the same livery we did before or we might change it up so let's get our paints ready we want our hex color of our blue again there there's our blue and we can get our black 1d we got our two colors there so let's paint so I think we should start with the tail. Now as you can see the tail might be a bit different. The UV editing and that. We go alter now, go to texture paint. And now that should just paint what we want. There you go, so you don't get paint over the model. There you go, you can come out of that. And we can do the same. Now it's just the same process as the A320 or the fly by wire. But I'm just going to make a quick livery and I'll leave this as a time lapse. So enjoy the time lapse. Total Aviation Livery for the Phoenix. So once we get to this stage, it's the same process as before. So we can go to Image, Save As, and that's the left one. And then we do right, and we do the same process as we did before. And we do it again. Just want to make sure tail there as well no the wings you can paint the wings if you would like to so once that's everything's done you can save that you can save template texture so here we go now these are in 8k I've done 4k so we need, actually need to scale them down so this is 4096 now open as layers we just do the same process episode 8 and this is the left so if we go to multiply we can see it there go over right we want to export as and this is the left export place and generate same process did. Now we're going to open as layers. We're going to open up the next one and do the same procedure. So we need to scale the layer. And then we can open our fuse one and we can follow the same. And fuse two. We can do exactly the same procedure 
or what we can do, we can just go open as layers and we can go fuse 2 get rid of this if we it's the same thing but if we scale the image to 496 And then we can scale the layer to 4.6. There we go, or as, and we're looking at fuse 2. Replace. Generate mid max. If that is not working, what you can do is open fuse 3 using GIM. It's already 4096 and you can export as and you can then choose Fuse Free Replace General Memos. If you want to do it that way, that might be better. So I'm gonna get this all ready. Okay, when everything is ready, we can now start to rename it. So here we go. We can rename our template. Um, TA underscore 23 and we can go into here control F find the template TA 23 TA 23 save that same objects rename rename all the templates and once you get to this stage you should be ready to load it into the sim so i'm going to do that right now as you can see it loads into msfs and now thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed that i will see you in the next episode which is episode nine how to create screenshots and i'll see you then bye bye